what you're looking at are two prototypes of the air lift casters uh, successfully fabricated here at Leonardtown High School uh, based on a design by Greg Bell as published in his 1996 article in USITT's uh, Theater Design and Technology. And uh, with quite a few helpful suggestions uh, from Greg based on his experience in making these over uh, many, many years, uh, modifications to the original design. As you can see, they are connected to a air supply and using a simple valve, air is applied, which uh, essentially expands the rubber diaphragm inside the cylinder, pushing the caster mounting plates up against the retaining ring. When the air pressure is released, the weight of the casters pushes it back down. Now obviously these are upside down. They would be used in our set uh, with the casters with the wheels facing the floor and then that top square mounting plate uh, supporting the set so that when air pressure is applied, it lifts the set about an inch enough off the ground so that the wheels take the weight and you're able to uh, wheel the set around and then release that air pressure and as the wheels are recessed, the set will sink down and uh, onto the stage. Over here is a jig for drilling the pilot holes around the cylinder on the drill press uh, at roughly a five degree angle inward. And this is one of our final products, uh, minus the caster and caster mounting plate. And you'll see that uh, the, the rubber diaphragm is inside there and is sandwiched in between the top mounting plate and the cylinder, which has a ridge on the inside of the cylinder. And you can see the screws that are holding the cylinder and the top plate together. And it's really just the friction between the cylinder and the top plate that holds that rubber diaphragm in place. You can see the groove, which is where the retaining ring fits in. And the retaining ring is uh, ingeniously just a quarter inch thick slice of the same PVC pipe that the cylinder is made from with a short uh, bite taken out of it so that it can bend inward and then sit in that groove. Um, as you can see from our original design where we had tamped in a hose barb uh, brass flitting, fitting um, and then have a uh, push to fit or push to connect um, air fitting attached to that, uh, we then changed to uh, pre-drilling and then tapping a 1 8 inch NPT um, thread into the top plate and then connecting the T fitting directly to that threading. Uh, the four holes on the four corners are where the top plate actually gets bolted to the set. And you can see we use 10 number eight screws to attach the top plate to the cylinder. Uh, so at this point, we'd like to uh, thank Greg for his uh, ingenious design um, and also for his correspondence over the last few weeks, um, which were extremely helpful. Um, Greg is now a retired professor of Otterbein College and uh, although still very active in the industry um, and he took some time to respond to our inquiries and was very helpful in us being able to successfully complete this project. So thank you. Thank you very much.